Hi, my name is Annika, and I am a psychology instructor at Leeward Community College. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the senses. So the senses are our five different ways of bringing in information about the world. So for example, we see with our eyes, we hear with our ears, and we also feel with our skin. So this is a big blown up version of a skin cell. It's what we use to feel things in the world. So today we're going to talk more about how we can fool our senses. These are called illusions. We use our eyes a lot when we're taking in information about the world, but our eyes are really easily uh, fooled. So for example, take a look at this illusion. So take a look at these strawberries. What color would you say they are? I bet you said red, didn't you? But they're actually gray. Take a look. When we saw the strawberries, our brain automatically reminded us of what strawberries are supposed to look like and made us interpret them as red. And essentially, we invented a color. But what about the ears? There are actually a lot of tricks there too. So for example, take a look at this viral video. So did you hear different words depending on the picture that you saw? If you're like a lot of people, you heard different words depending on what picture was displayed on the screen, even though there was actually only one word that was said the entire time. This is because we use lots of different senses to paint a really thorough picture of our world. And we use the pictures as a cue to understand what we're supposed to be hearing. In this case, it results in, a, in an illusion, but normally, let's say in a conversation, it results in you being able to hear what your friend is saying, even if let's say it's really windy outside or it's hard to hear. For the next few illusions, I need to introduce an assistant, but first let me introduce you to the first illusion. For this illusion, I have three coins. I put two in the freezer and I left one out, which means that two of them are going to be cold and one of them is not. Now I'm going to line them up so that the two cold ones are on the outside. Now I'm going to call my assistant in and ask him to guess which of the three coins are cold. All right, so let me introduce you to my assistant, Christopher. So Chris is going to help me with a tactile illusion. That's an illusion using your hands and our sense of touch. So remember how I showed you those three different coins lined up next to each other. I'm going to have Chris put his ring finger on one coin on the outside, his index finger on one coin on the other side, and then his middle finger on the middle coin. And I want him to guess how many of the coins are cold. So Chris, how many of the coins are cold? All of the coins are cold. That's all right. That's actually incorrect. Why do you think you thought all three of the coins were cold, even though two were cold? I guess because if two of the coins are cold, it kind of felt like all of the coins are cold. Yeah, so we actually don't can't judge the temperature of two different things at once in such a close proximity. We just don't have enough sensory uh, temperature uh, receptors for that, resulting in a very cool illusion. To set up the next illusion, I am going to take some apple juice and pour it evenly into three separate glasses. Now I'm going to put a little bit of purple food coloring in one of them and a little bit of red food coloring in the other. So now I have three different colors, but the same juice. So they're all apple juice, but one of them is purple, one of them looks like apple juice, and one of them is red. All right, so before I let you go, I have one more illusion for you, and it's a gustatory and olfactory illusion. That means mouth, so what we taste, and smell, what we smell. So what I would like for you to do is we have three different glasses, and I already showed them um, how it was set up, and I would like for you to plug your nose and taste each of them and guess which one is which flavor. So go ahead and taste the one that is purple with your nose plugged.
And what flavor would you say that one is? Grape. All right. And let's go ahead and do the same thing with the red one. How about that one? Cranberry. All right. So you can tell he seems like a little uncertain. And then how about the last one, which is kind of an orange color, orangish brown. You can see that he's investigating it using his sight first, which is a good tip if we want to be good scientists. Apple. All right. So he guessed three different flavors. Well, now if you could unplug your nose and go ahead and taste them again. So go ahead and taste, taste each of them. I do a little bit quicker this time. And then you can, you don't need to guess this time. <laughs> so at this point he's guessed that he's been tricked, right? Yes. They're all, <laughs> so they're all apple juice, which of course you guys all know. There's a lot of things happening in this illusion. So first, just like in the auditory illusion, we use our eyes to make guesses about our other senses. So he made a guess when he was looking at the color about what flavor was going to be in the glass. And it tasted a little bit different based on what you saw, right? Mm -hmm. So the other really cool thing is that we actually taste with our nose. So a huge percentage of what we taste in food is actually what we're tasting with our sense of smell. So was it easier for you to guess the flavor when you had your nose plugged or when you had your nose not plugged? Not plugged. Definitely not plugged. This is the same reason why when you have a cold, you can't taste anything, right? It doesn't taste very good because most of our sense of taste actually comes up through our nose. All right, I hope that was fun. That's all I have for you for right now, but um, make sure to Google sensory illusions if you're interested in exploring more. There are so many ways to trick our mind. And they're also interesting. So until then, uh, stay safe, stay well, and take care. Bye.